Know yourself. Be yourself. Love yourself. Know who you are in God. Be who you are unapologetically and love yourself wholeheartedly. I am Kimberly Joy and I thank you for listening to the Kimberly Joy Show. God, I thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. I adore you. I thank you for your love, for your goodness, for your peace, for your joy. I thank you for your faithfulness. Ah, hallelujah. I thank you for your divine protection, for your divine provision. Ah, hallelujah. Oh God, I thank you for being everything that I need and want and then some. God, you are amazing. There is no one like you. And so I have nothing else to say, but thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please join us for our 2023 Sons and Daughters Conference, Friday, September 8th through Sunday, September 10th. And this is a free event for everyone. And the theme for this year's conference is there's a storm coming. Taken from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 25 and 26. Friday, September 8th at 7 p.m., our speaker will be Apostle Stephen Bell of Alabama. Saturday, September 9th at 6 p.m., our speaker will be our assistant pastor, Apostle Benita Florence. Then Sunday, September 10th at 10 a.m., will be Apostle Ricky Baker, also from Alabama. The conference will take place at Power and Faith Ministries, 8120 Hamilton Avenue in Mount Healthy, Ohio, 45231 in the Hilltop Plaza. Another free event I want to invite you to. Seniors in Action present Wall, Prayer, Breakthrough. This special program will be on Saturday, September 16th at 5 p.m. with our very own First Lady Pastor Jerry Banks as the speaker. And again, it will be held at Power and Faith Ministries, 8120 Hamilton Avenue in Mount Healthy. Question, what does it mean to be faithful? Hmm? Now, I posted this question on social media just to see what people would say. And I got several responses. And I'll just list a few. One person said to be faithful is trusting God and loving him through our circumstances. Another person said trust and loyalty. A third person said being loyal and not moved by situations or people. Now, I like the way this next person said it. Walk your talk. If you say it, do it. That's what God does. <laughs> Amen. And then finally, doing what you say you're going to do. No matter how much temptation comes at you. Now that's good. According to the dictionary, faithful is remaining loyal and steadfast. And, and I like this particular definition because of the word remaining. Remaining meaning still existing, ongoing, continual. In other words, to truly be faithful is to remain devoted. Hmm? To stay the course. You don't stop when it gets hard. You don't stop when you get tired, but you keep going to the end, if there is an end. When Jesus lived here on earth as a man, he showed us everything we needed to know, how we are to live, including how to be faithful. Philippians chapter 2, verses 6 through 8 say this, and this is the message translation. Christ Jesus had equal status with God but didn't think so much of himself that he had to cling to the advantages of that status no matter what. Not at all. When the time came, he set aside the privileges of deity and took on the status of a slave and became human. Having become human, he stayed human. It wasn't an incredibly, hum it, I'm sorry, it was an incredibly humbling process. He didn't claim special privileges. Instead, he lived a selfless, obedient life and then died a selfless, obedient death. And the worst kind of death at that, a crucifixion. Jesus was faithful to God the Father and he was faithful to the plan of God. Even though that meant leaving his position in heaven. Even though that meant becoming a human, a human who has to eat and sleep whenever he gets tired. Knowing that he would be treated badly. 
knowing that he would endure a very painful and agonizing death. In John 6, verse 38, Jesus said, For I have come down from heaven to do the will of God who sent me, not to do my own will. Again, Jesus was faithful to God, and we see so many examples in the Bible, particularly in the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Jesus was faithful to God even when it was uncomfortable to his flesh. Because again, remember, he lived as a man. And when I say it was uncomfortable, I'm not just talking about the crucifixion. But think about other scenarios. For instance, when he spent time in the wilderness fasting, huh? After he was baptized by John the Baptist, remember that? In Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. It says that Jesus fasted in the wilderness for 40 days and nights. And that also includes praying, even though it doesn't say that. When we fast, we also pray. We also spend time with God. Now, the common definition for fasting is refraining from eating food. So fasting is not fun at all. And it's not meant to be fun because it's denying the flesh. Hebrews 4 verse 15 says, when Jesus lived on earth, he was tempted in the same ways we are tempted, but he never sinned. So while Jesus was spending time with God in the wilderness, he became hungry. The scripture tells us that. That's why Matthew 4 verse 3 says that the devil tempted him to turn some stones into bread. But because of Jesus' faithfulness, because of his unwavering devotion, he said no to the temptation. And then in verse 4, Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. In other words, Jesus was saying, this is about God. This is about God's word. This is about God's commandments. This is not about pleasing my fleshly desires. Because Jesus was faithful to God, even through the moments of discomfort, many, many people were set free through his ministry here on earth. And many are still being set free today. Uh, and, and that includes me. And if you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, that includes you. So that means that you can stand with me right now and say, thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness. I want to thank you for listening to today's broadcast. Now, if you are ready to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior and experience his faithfulness, please pray this prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you were buried in the tomb. But I believe three days later you rose up with all power in your hands. Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. Come into my life. Ha, hallelujah. 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 And save me, Jesus. Heal me, Jesus. Deliver me, Jesus. And I will serve you forever. Uh, I thank you, Lord. I am now saved. Now, I do encourage you to attend a good Bible-believing church. You are welcome to visit us. Power and Faith Ministries with Apostle Ron and Pastor Jerry Banks. Again, we are located at 8120 Hamilton Avenue and Mount Healthy in the Hilltop Plaza. Sunday service, 10 a.m. Wednesday Bible study, 7 p.m. To contact me, please email the Kimberly Joy Show at gmail.com or call 513-417-0097. You may follow the Kimberly Joy Show on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. You may donate to the Kimberly Joy Show on Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal. My personal motto is know yourself, be yourself, love yourself. And now here is Yolanda Adams singing Always Nest.